Greetings everybody. This tutorial is about performing integrations, mass spectral data integrations in the Mine Expert program of the MS Expert Suite uh, software environment. Let's open a file. I will open an ion mobility mass spectrometry data file so that we can document the integrations also to a drift spectrum. We already know that when a file is loaded, a tick chromatogram is automatically computed for that data file. And if the data are from ion mobility mass spectrometry experiments, then also a color map plotting the mass spectra against their drift time and the intensity is uh, uh, the heat map uh, is uh, computed. A typical data mining session occurs by starting with any of these two plots. For a non-ion mobility mass spectrometry data, the start can only be the tick chromatogram. And typically, what one would integrate data to either a mass spectrum or a drift spectrum for ion mobility mass data and for that latter case, the integration would also uh, be able to be started from the color map. Each of these windows has a toolbar. And in that toolbar, we have an interrogation mark button that shows a help summary. To integrate to a drift spectrum, press the D keyboard key while right mouse click drag to integrate uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the spanning region. Let's do that. Press the D key, right click and drag. This is what you can see on the top left corner of your video with the two representations of the keyboard and of the mouse. Release the right button mouse and the integration is run. We had pressed the D keyboard key to ask for a drift spectrum. If we want a mass spectrum, we would first press the S key, right click drag the mouse over the region of interest, release the mouse button and the integration would be performed. This is what is said here. Press S while right mouse click drag to integrate to a mass spectrum. If we were interested in any given um, mass spectral feature, total ion current intensity, for example, if I wanted to know what is exactly the tick intensity of this peak, I would press, as the information says, the I keyboard key to integrate to a tick intensity value while right mouse button clicking and dragging. Let's do this. I press on the I keyboard key. I right click drag and release. And we have in the status bar the intensity, which is not fully displayed because the window is not large enough. Let's increase the window size and do that again. You will see the intensity value. There we are, 5.6 exponent 6. This is the intensity as it has been computed by going back to the original data. This intensity calculation can be performed in the same exact manner on any of the four data displaying windows. Let's look at this mass spectrum peak. I press the I key 
right click drag release and check for the results i moved i moved the key the the mouse but now it works you need not move the mouse between the release of the button mouse and the reading of the value and as we can see the value is displayed 8.9 exponent 6 exactly same stuff here let's look at the intensity of the whole drift peak I moved there we are it is possible to retro integrate we know that this mass spectrum here has been obtained by integrating from the tick chromatogram and we now may want to know what is the extracted ion current from this mass spectrum to a ZIC chromatogram. The explanations here say that we need to press R while right mouse click dragging to integrate to a ZIC chromatogram. Let's do this. Put your mouse cursor at the right place, press the R button, right mouse button click drag, release the button. Now we have the tick chromatogram of the extracted ion current. That is actually a ZIC chromatogram. It would be exactly the same here from the drift spectrum to either the mass spectrum or from the dri uh, drift spectrum to the uh, ZIC chromatogram. Let's see the explanations. Press R to integrate to a ZIC chromatogram. Let's do this. R, right click, drag, and this is the ZIC chromatogram or e press S to integrate to a mass spectrum. Let's try this. Let's get all the molecular entities that have this drift time region to a mass spectrum and we integrate it to this mass spectrum. And we can reintegrate to a drift spectrum for only this species. So it is possible to integrate in any direction. It's the only limitation we have at the moment is that we cannot integrate to a color map. We can only integrate from a color map. Let's integrate, for example, to a drift spectrum for these species here. And this is the drift spectrum that we got. You see that it is really limited to roughly 9 to 12 because we started here roughly at 9 and we ended here roughly at 12. And if we integrated this rectangle to a mass spectrum then we would get only molecular species having molecular um, mz ratios roughly between 2 200 and 2 220 which is exactly what we have here you see that the mass spectrum is limited in the mz range So these are the integrations. Remember, if you want to integrate to a, a tick intensity, you can do it by pressing the I key. But in between the moment you release the mouse button and the moment you read the intensity value, you need not move. Otherwise, the label changes and the intensity value gets uh, lost. There we are, 2.2 exponent 8. 
थैंक यू